Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Praise God. Today is Friday, the 24th day of February 2003, which happens to be St. Matthias Day. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. I pray this is your season in Jesus' name. Our topic today is why Matthias, why you? You will ask yourself again, why Matthias, why you? As we read along, you will know who is Matthias and who you are. Before we go further, can we say a short prayer together? Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you will do. We thank you for every viewers today. We ask that you bless every one of us in the name of Jesus. We thank you because victory is ours in Jesus' name. Our text today is Acts chapter 1 from 15 to 26. I read Acts chapter 1. 15 to 26. During this time, when about 120 believers were together in one place, Peter stood up and addressed them. Brothers, he said, the scripture had to be fulfilled concerning Judas, who guided those who arrested Jesus. This was predicted long ago by the Holy Spirit, speaking through King David. Judas was one of us and he shared the ministry with us. Judas had brought a field with the money he received for his treachery. Falling head first there, yeah, his body split open, spilling out all his intestine. The news of his death spread to all people of Jerusalem and they gave the place the Aramic name al -Kadama which means the field of blood. Peter continued, this was written in the book of Psalms, which says, let his home become desolate. Let no one live in, living in it. It also say, let someone take his position. So now we must choose a replacement for Judas from among the men who were with us. The entire time we were traveling with the Lord Jesus. From the time he was baptized by John unto the day he was taken from us. Whoever is choosing will join us as a witness of Jesus' resurrection. So they nominated two men, Joseph called Basabas, also known as Justus, and Matthias. When they had prayed, O oh Lord, you know every heart. Show us which of these men you have chosen as an apostle to replace Judas in his ministry, for he has deserted us and gone where he belonged. They cast Lot and Matthias was selected to become an apostle with the other eleven. This is the word of the Lord. Now, as we go further, our topic, why Matthias, why you? Today is St. Matthias Day and the day of the inauguration of the Church of Nigeria. So we can say happy birthday to the Anglican Church in 1997. Now, a vacuum was created by the absence of Judas Iscariot. And a vacuum was created where he betrayed Jesus Christ. I pray we will not betray Jesus in the name of Jesus. So that vacuum had to be filled Judas chose to fulfill a prophecy predicted a long time before he became an apostle by being greedy. Now, you see that prophecy in Psalms 41 verse 9. I read, Yea, my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, had did eat of my bread, had lifted up his head against me. I need to take little time and talk about greed. I pray you will not be greedy in the name of Jesus. 
I pray greediness will not let you lose your place. Greediness is a man that just wants everything for himself. I pray God delivers you from every form of greediness in the name of Jesus. And you look at our contemporary society today, you can call some people greedy. I wonder what will make a man just on himself embezzle billions. That's high caliber greediness. I pray the Lord help us all in Jesus' name. Now we continue from the manual. His greediness cost him his life and his place among the chosen. We can see what greediness can do. Many people have been lost today because of greediness. Many people are dead today because of greediness. You are delivered from every form of greediness in Jesus' name. It also happened to him, it also affected him spiritually and physically. Judas died not just shamefully, because of greediness, because of sin. Judas died shamefully. You looking at me, what is that thing that you are doing that is bringing shame to the kingdom of God? I pray we repent. I pray we repent. But even, choose, even before the Lord Jesus, he betrayed. Matthias was duly nominated together with justice by the people. God approved Matthias to replace Judas. I say that again. God approved Matthias to replace Judas. Why Matthias and not Justice? God only know. I pray we'll be on the approved list, of, approved list of God in the name of Jesus. Why Matthias? Why me? Why you? Why is it you that was chosen and not others to occupy that position? You know, pride will make you feel as if you can do all things. Pride will make you feel as if you are better than that person handling a particular position. Pride will make you feel as if it is just you. But no, 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 no. Pride can also make you lose heaven. Or to do that job in the office, in the church, in the family, in the government, in the marketplace. Whatever job you are given to do, it is just a privilege. I say it again. In the church, in the office, in the family, whatever thing you are given to do, it is just a privilege. And it's a privilege you should take with every sense of honor and respect. I pray the Lord help us all in Jesus' name. Do you feel you are more qualified than them? Yes, just like I said, you might feel you are better than this person. You might feel this person is not doing it well. But I beg you, whoever is doing it, just have it behind your mind. It is a privilege. It is a privilege. Whatever office you occupy today, it is a privilege. God will grant us deeper understanding in Jesus' name. No, it is just a privilege which the Lord never expect you to abuse. I don't know what office you abuse, you, you occupy presently. You looking at me, I don't know what office you occupy, but know that it is a privilege. You might be rich, don't use it to oppress. You might be a politician, don't use it to deceive people. You might be even a pastor, don't use it to lead people astray. What our manual is telling us today is whatever office you occupy, it is just a privilege which the Lord never expect you to abuse. You can be, even be a father at home. It's a privilege. Don't use it to override your wife. You can be a mother at home, a wife. Don't use it vice versa. Whatever privilege, whatever office you occupy, it is a privilege. God looks up to you. This is very informative. God looks up to you. We must have this mindset. We must have this sense of belonging that God looks up to you. Every day you must know that God looks up to you. And we should not be like Judas who disappointed. No, we should be like Matthias who didn't 
disappoint heaven. God looks up to you. And when we have this mindset that God look up to you, together we will sing the hallelujah song in heaven. God looks up to you not to betray Jesus like Judas. God looks up to you not to betray Jesus like Judas, but to glorify him. May our life, this St. Matthias Day, bring glory to Jesus in the name of Jesus. Just like St. Matthias was chosen and he brought glory, may our life continue to bring glory to Jesus in the name of Jesus. May our life bring glory to him in all things we do. There's another instruction here which says, be faithful. We should remember at the last, what will be said to us is be faithful, good and righteous servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. It is mandated for us as Christians and as Anglicans that we must be faithful. Whatever position, whatever office, whatever thing you hold, it is expected of us to be faithful. It is expected of us to be faithful. And I pray God will grant us grace to be faithful in the name of Jesus. Be faithful in the assignment given to you. Be faithful. Don't look at it as a small assignment. Don't look at it as an assignment that is not important. We need to be faithful. I pray God grant us grace to be faithful in the name of Jesus Christ. And the last instruction is, do not trade his glory for fame. Do not trade his glory for shame, if I will say. Do not trade his glory for vanity. I pray that we will not trade his glory. The song say, I wouldn't trade him for silver or gold. That song say, I wouldn't trade him for riches untold. Many today have trade, are trading themselves for what does not matter. I pray God will help all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for this. And can we say the prayer together? Can we pray together and say, Dear Father, help me to fulfill your heart desires concerning me. Thank you because it is done. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.